Hey guys, Gator here, and as promised, I'm bringing to you today a tutorial in Avorian on how to bring ships into the game. So, we talked about it before, you know, this is a, a, an excellent way to get new ships. However, if you're in the creative mode, there's no issues. If you port a ship into your galaxy and you are in anything except creative you have to have the funds you know the credits and you have to have the materials to build the ship so that being said first thing you need to do is you need to run over to avorian.net and this is the website and this is what it looks like all right you need to go over here to the forums and when you click the forums this is what you're going to see so you need to scroll down to creations right there okay and click on creations now all of these are I uh, ships that people have created like Manus has created this I believe this is Manus's ship okay if you guys uh, look through here yeah okay so this is from Starship Troopers. You guys remember that. So he's still working on it, still a work in progress. However, when you find a ship that you like and you go through this, look for the XML files or a link, which Manus has put a link right here. This is the download. This is his uh, Google Drive. So if you click on that, you click on that, it's going to open up this XML file in the Google Drive. Now, understand the majority of the time, you know, these are read only files. So, what you need to do is go in here and you need to right click or you need to copy it and open up a notepad and you need to paste it. Okay? Then you need to save that into your Avorian folder. Now, let me show you how to get there. If you'll open up your file explorer, okay, open up your file explorer, just go to home. Now, right here, you want to type in percent app with two P's app data percent forward stroke aborian bingo and this takes you directly to the folder now click on ships and then you want to save it right there as whatever dot xml okay dot xml now i'm not going to do that because i've already saved it in there then, once you get that done, you can minimize all that. Don't close it because sometimes it doesn't work all the time. I mean, this, this game is a new release, and, and it might take you a few times to do it. So then, open up a Borean. I have a Galaxy set up for my testing, you know, for my OBS. And once this once this connects here and we are allowed to jump in, we'll do it. There we go. Spacebar. Good. So if you guys remember this this little cover destroyer, this was the ship that, that you know we had been driving and so we had been testing it. So this is a creative galaxy. So then go into your build menu which is the B key, and down here at the bottom right, go to Save Ships. Save Ships reads your XML files. And you want to go through here, and you want to find the ship. See, there's the Roger Young. Click Apply Plan. And there it is. And that is how you port ships into Avorian. It doesn't matter what kind of ship it is. 
It, it doesn't matter at all. Okay? That's how you do it. That is how you do it. And this is not a bad. I mean, this ship's got 40,000 hull. Uh, there's no shield because we don't have any neonite in it. Um, it's almost 1,600 blocks. But you can, you know, you can play with that a little bit. You'll be able to fix it up to your liking. But that's how you do it. That's that's all there is to it. That is all there is to it. So, you know, to recap, go to avorian.net, go to the forums, go into the creative forum, find your ship you like, okay? Look for the XML file, or better yet, do a search for the .xml. And then, once you get that, let me see here. Uh, if we go to avorian.net, we go to the forum index. Do a search for .xml. Okay. And any of these, you can go You can go into the creations or you can go into the ship. Get the XML file. Copy it. Complete. Save it to your notepad as the title and then .xml. And then save it to your Avorian ships folder. Then go into Avorian, go into your build menu, and load it up. And that's all you got to do. So, you know, if you have any problems, you know, leave a comment below. And uh, it it sometimes it takes me two or three times to do it. Sometimes it goes in there first time, first try. But you have to have Avorian closed. You cannot have it open at all. You have to have the program completely closed before you do it. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And um, leave me a comment below and, and let me know uh, uh, if it works for you. If you have any problems, we'll try to figure out and see if we can't get it taken care of. But uh, you guys seen how to do it. There you go. All right. So we will talk to you guys later. Remember, subscribe to the channel. Give me that thumbs up. Give me the thumbs down if you didn't like it. And share this with your friends. And uh, I appreciate it. We'll see you guys later. All right, take care.